Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. In today's video, I want to show you the absolute best way to store seeds. And I'm going to use the story of these Sarah Galapagos Island tomato seeds. They have been sitting in this container. Lid screws off. You get these at hobby shops. They're for sewing, storing beads, whatever. These actually stack. So there's two levels here. Nice and tight. These have been sitting in my cellar of my new home for the last three years and I believe they sat in my other house down in the basement for at least five years to seven years. So let's just call it seven years for these. I don't want to over exaggerate but seven to ten years. They've just been sitting in here. Put them into a paper towel. Now these come in, you can actually get these, they stack and screw together. But I have level one, level two right here. Put them in a Ziploc bag. These have actually been in here about 10 days. So this is level one. And just take a look at the germination. So that's level one. Wanted to check out the second level. And I'll talk a little bit more about seed storage in a second. But if you just put, if you're not sure if you have seeds that are viable, you moisten a paper towel, sprinkle a pinch in there, and just look at that. Completely viable seven years later. So number one, you don't have to buy new seeds every year. That's going to save you a lot of money. Store them in the house where it's cool. It can get cold. My cellar gets down to, you know, 40 degrees. House gets up to maybe 70 degrees. They're going to be okay. You want them in something airtight. Again, you can get these at hobby shops. Lid screw on. You can write right on here what they are. They work really well. I also sell green pill bottles at my seed shop and they have a nice lid that seals on there too. Doesn't twist, screw twist like this, but it's solid. So the point is, is if you put your seeds into something airtight, they're going to last three years, five years, seven years, even 10 years. You can really just save a lot of money that way. The pill bottles we sell work really well, or again, go to any hobby shop, look for something like this. It can be plastic, it can be glass. You just want the top to be something that seals pretty much airtight. Let me talk a little bit about the Sarah Galapagos tomato seeds, their history, and we're going to be selling these actual seeds at my seed shop if you're interested. Sarah's Galapagos variety tomato is a current type tomato, which means it's about the size of my fingertip right there. I can hold 30 or 40 of them in my hand. They're that small. Beautiful red jewel-like tomatoes. History states that Sarah Goldman, daughter of Amy Goldman, brought them back from the Galapagos Islands. Which person brought them back? We're not sure, but these definitely came out of the Galapagos Islands, and it's really cool because it's a kind of a cool piece of history in my opinion. Being from that area, I found when I grew them that they really didn't need as much water. They were more drought resistant than the other tomatoes. And I also noticed that they were better with disease resistance. They didn't get the early blight um, leaf spot like some of my other tomato plants did before I really learned how to manage them well years ago. If I didn't mention it, these are going to mature and start producing in about 70 days. Going to take about another week or two before they really start producing. They're going to get six feet tall. They like to sprawl out and you probably just need one plant in your garden. These are going to go on sale at my seed shop. I'm going to mail these out to my brother in New York. New York, that's where the shop is. So if you order uh, in the next couple of days, it may take a while to get these, but they're going to come out to you within a week of this video date. Thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. And remember, seeds will last easily three years, five years, seven years, ten years. Just put them in a container sealed like this. Keep them at house temperatures are a little bit cooler and you'll save yourself a lot of money. Thanks for watching.